Welcome to week three of our Advent devotions here at Christ Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Brian Krieger. Today, as we worship, our devotion focuses on waiting for deliverance. Let's begin our worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, teach us your ways that we may walk in your truth. Lord, you comfort and help us day after day. We trust your loving care. You are the King of heaven and earth. We give you praise and thanks. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you invite us to pray and promise that where two or three come together in your name, there you are with us. Answer our prayers and fulfill our desires according to your wisdom and love. Strengthen us in the knowledge of the truth and grant us life everlasting. Amen. Well, I know it's a little late, but I wanted to wish you all a very happy new year. No, I, I'm not confused when, when I say happy new year, I'm not talking about the calendar year. I'm talking about the new church year. 
Happy New Year. The church year begins at the beginning of the month of December. A new church year means a new year of hearing the message of God's love through the scriptures. A new church year means, among many other things, that this is another year of doing ministry together here at Christ Lutheran and ministry worldwide throughout God's church. But is this year really going to be a happy one, friends? Can you honestly say, Happy New Year? There are so many things to rob us of happiness this year, isn't there? There's the virus. There's different restrictions that we have in our states and in our country. In general, in general, we, we look around us and we can see just how corrupt society is. We can see how easily people fall into sin in our world today. Do you know one of the devil's greatest tricks is to convince us that God can't love us. One of the devil's greatest tricks is to, to make us question God. And friends, that's why our worship today focuses on the impossible. It focuses on the impossible truth that God would come to be with us here on earth. Could there really be a better way to start the new year? Each new year, we begin the church year with the season of Advent. Advent means to appear or, or to make known. We start out each year with the message that God has made his own love known through his son, Christ Jesus, by sending Jesus to earth to become Emmanuel. God with us. Our reading today focuses on the deliverance that Emmanuel gives. Today we're going to read from Isaiah chapter 7. I'll begin at verse 10. Isaiah writes, Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask the Lord your God for a sign, whether in the deepest depths or the highest heights. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear now, you house of David. Is it not enough to try the patience of humans? Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. This is the word of our God. In Isaiah chapter 7, Isaiah speaks about King Ahaz. King Ahaz was frightened, and with a good reason. He was surrounded by King Aram. Aram had actually paired together with some powerful allies. Ahaz knew he was overmatched. And yet, God promised Ahaz deliverance. God said to Ahaz, call out to me for help. You can even ask me for a sign, and I'll give it to you. But Ahaz was a doubter. Ahaz didn't think he needed God's help. And so God said, well, I'm going to help you anyway. I'm going to carry out my plan whether you want it or not. Now, God's help and deliverance wouldn't come in the form of a, a military victory. God instead would deliver his people. God would help and, and bring a victory to the house of David, a house that would endure forever but it would be according to God's plan. What was the sign that God would give? The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and call him Emmanuel. Friends, do you have a bit of Ahaz in you? 
I know I do. One that doubts, especially this time of the year. We say things like Happy New Year, but in our mind we think, well, things are just going to get worse. Sometimes God's plans seem impossible. But friends, our God knows us so well. In fact, our loving God even works through those doubts and those fears. God uses troubles to, to help us realize we can't do this on our own. We need a savior, we need deliverance. And then God reminds us the exact form that that deliverance takes. God sent his own son to be with us. God sent his own son as Emmanuel. God did the impossible when the fullness of time came. God sent his own son from eternity to leave the glories of heaven and to become one with us. He didn't give up his deity. He simply added humanity. He became the God-man to live under God's perfect law and to keep it for us. As a perfect God, he made that law. As a man, he lived under that law. But as the God-man, he kept it perfectly and credited it to you and to me. As God, he couldn't die. But as a man, he was mortal. As a God-man, he did die, and with his holy, precious blood, made a full payment for all of our sins. He did the impossible. He brought us deliverance, because he is Emmanuel. Friends, as we face a new year, whether it's a new church year or a new calendar year, this promise of God that he is Emmanuel is a promise that can encourage us every day. God is Emmanuel right now. That means he's with us. He's with us in our troubles. He's shared our struggles. He's shared our troubles. And not only that, but he did something about them. God is Emmanuel. That means we can call on him anytime for forgiveness and for strength. God is Emmanuel right now. That means he, he, he's Emmanuel as we seek to follow and to serve him every day of our lives. We fail in that too, don't we? So often we get angry, angry with our spouse or our family. So often we cut corners in our lives. So often we miss opportunities to spread the love of Christ. We know that we should do better. And yet even in our doubts, Emmanuel is right there to whisper in our ears, your sins are paid for. I remember your sins and your failures no more. God is Emmanuel whispering into our ears, I am here to strengthen you and to help you, to hold you by my righteous hand, to strengthen you through the word of God and through the sacrament that you receive. God is Emmanuel. And he's Emmanuel all the way up to the very end. In heaven, we, we will see a, a new meaning, a, a new way that God is face to face with us. He will be a, a personal God to each one of us in a, in a whole new exciting way. He is Emmanuel. It is the most wonderful time of the year, isn't it? It is, after all, the Christmas season. It, 
it probably won't be too long before you hear those words. And yet there is some truth in those words, isn't there? It is the most wonderful time of the year. This is the time of the year, once again, that we see God's love at work through the Christmas story. Jesus became human. He became a small baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. The King of Heaven came near to us, entering our world to win salvation for us. Emmanuel became a real person to pay for our real sins so that you and I might have real salvation. It seems impossible. But this is the real truth of Scripture. We have a Savior whose peace and whose promises will never end. Thank God for his deliverance. Thank God that he is Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all people throughout the world to strengthen believers and to enlighten the unbelievers. Lord, we pray for peace and justice among the nations, for honest leaders and good neighbors, for the gift of love and for steadfast faith for patient endurance, we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, we also pray for those who suffer pain or sorrow. We pray for the lonely and the depressed, for the poor and for the needy. For those who love us and for those who hate us, we pray, Lord, have mercy. Be gracious to us. Defend us by your power. And finally, bring us to joy everlasting. To you, O Lord, we entrust ourselves. Amen. Receive now with believing hearts the blessing of our Lord Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ 
and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.